Hi everybody, welcome back for a, another video. I have something here. Let me get this stuff out of the way. I gathered everything that I thought I would need and it's all over the table. I've shared photos of these on Instagram and maybe Facebook, um, but these are something new. They are uh, watercolors by a Ukrainian company uh, called Rosa Gallery. Um, this is their like basic 12 set. So I, I have two <laughs> little palettes of watercolors, one that is 12 and one that is 14. This one that is 12, I got on Amazon for, I want to say something like $14. I mean, it was really, really, really inexpensive. And um, you can see that it, it came, yes, in a cardboard box, kind of like the, um, uh, there, there are uh, St. Petersburg watercolors that you can get in a cardboard box in a little you know, plastic tin like this. And if you look, over oh, here I've got one that I've been using. This is um, ugh, one of my favorite colors, yellow ochre. And um, you can see it is a more than a half pan. Um, it's a little bit less than a full pan of the St. Petersburg, but it looks like it's, um, more than a normal full pan. Uh, so this is yellow ochre, which actually I have out of that palette. Um, but this is their basic uh, 12 color set. And the colors are, we'll just kind of, I'll use this as a pointer. Lemon, yellow, or no, cadmium lemon. So these do have cadmium and they do have, um, that other heavy metal, so they aren't, uh, you know, totally earth friendly. Um, so there's cadmium lemon. This is cadmium yellow medium. This is cadmium red light. This is matter red. This is a green, just regular green. It says Zilliona. This is uh, emerald green. This right here is ultramarine. This one here is called a bright, it just says bright blue. Here is the yellow ochre again. This one is a umber. This one is sepia or sepia. And this is a Mars brown. And it's their basic 12... Uh, palette, which is very similar to the 12 palette that you can get from St. Petersburg. So that's the basic 12 set. Now, something that is, oh, and let's, I do happen to have them swatched in one of my old Canson books. Here they are. This is the 12, oh, and here's the, the little stickers. Cadmium Lemon cadmium yellow medium, uh, cadmium red light, kind of looks like a geranium color, geranium like red. This is the matter lake or matter red. There's the green. It's very similar to what like they call Russian green, which is kind of a sappy sort of a green, but not a true sap green. Here's the emerald green. There you can see bright blue, ultramarine, Pretty, pretty, pretty sky color. I could say bright blue is more like a um, cerulean sort of a blue. Here's the umber, yellow ochre, uh, sepia, and Mars brown. So quite a nice, nice little palette. I've actually been using these this morning. I've been doing some painting. But this is the, um, it's a very odd number. It says 14. And you'll see that it is the botanical set. And I actually happen to have a botanical set here 
uh, by St. Petersburg Botanique. Does it say it in Ukraine? It just says watercolors. It just says botanical. Ah, there it is. Botanica. Botanica. This set has 14 colors in it. Here, let me put the... So here are the colors in the 14 set for the um, uh, botanical set. And I happen to have the sheet right here. So it has a cadmium lemon, cadmium yellow light, cadmium orange, different color. Here is a bright red. There's matter red. This is Matter Rose, and then that's Opera Rose, which is a really pretty pink. Here we have Magenta Rose, slightly different pink. We have Violet. This is that same green from that other set, which looks like you can see a very pretty sap green. Cobalt Blue, Ultramarine, and there's the Bright Blue, or here they just say Blue. Um, and then another yellow ochre. So there are some colors that are in both sets. If I was to take a pen, if I was a pen, where would I be? Oh, I'll share. I got a new pen pouch, and it's the foot of a Sasquatch and a little gnome. And he says, you're kind of a legend. It's made from 95% recycled materials, so that's one reason why. I have it. Here, we'll use a ballpoint pen. So the colors that are in both sets are this one, the um, yellow ochre, the ultramarine, the green, The blue is different. That's a cobalt blue and that's just a regular blue. This had bright blue. Um, in the reds, matter red, which is right here, because that's matter rose. Cadmium red light. See, that's not in here, cadmium red light. Cadmium orange is in this one. But then this, the cadmium yellow light, nope. Cadmium lemon. So there's only one, two, three, four, five colors um, that are in both the 12 and the 14. But what I wanted to compare was the botanical set. Of course, you can see different style tin. Well, this is actually plastic. Here in the uh, Rosa, it's, you know, like a typical metal tin. Uh, and also this comes out. And you got quite a few more wells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for mixing. You've got these little ones here. There's 10 of those little wells. Then there's four half size ones, and then three full ones. And then you've got these big blending ones over here. In the St. Petersburg palette, one thing you have is this pops out and it's really hard to get out. And then once you get it out, it's hard to get back in. So I haven't taken it out since the one time it fell out. Because there's there we go. So you'll see there's 
this mixing palette, which has one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So you've got, you know, a little portable palette that pops out. And then you have your paint in here. This is much more compact than this, but most people are used to these types of metal trays. But let's take a look at the colors. So you'll see that there were actually only 12, right? Six and six. And so let's kind of compare the colors. So there's a lemon, there's a lemon, this is a cadmium yellow medium. This is a cadmium yellow light. So that's interesting. Here's a ochre, ochre, orange. This is a cadmium orange, this is just orange. Um, let's see, there's a quinacquinone rose, which quinacquinone rose is kind of a, it's more like the, magenta rose here. Then there's a geranium red, and the geranium red is kind of like this bright red-ish. The geranium red looks more like over here in the 12 set, the cadmium red light. So that's kind of interesting. Then there's this Matter Lake Red Light, and there is a Matter Red. They're similar. The Matter Lake Red Light is a little bit brighter. This is a little bit deeper of a color. There's a Quinacrinone Violet, where this is just a violet. Then there's an uh, Ultra, let's see, what does it say? Boop, boop. Ultramarine Deep. Then there's a bright blue, which there's a bright blue. That's kind of bright blue. That's more like this bright blue. There's that green. See, it's a very similar green. They call it a Russian green. And then there's a sepia, which I find interesting in their botanical set. But there's a sepia in, there's the sepia. Very similar in the 12 set. So I, I find it very interesting that the botanical set from St. Petersburg is kind of a mix of the basic 12 set and the 14 set botanical. Um, now, I do have to say that like this St. Petersburg palette which I got towards the end of last year, beginning of this year. Um, no, I got it in February of this year, early this year. Um, it was like 30 some odd dollars um, for the 12. The uh, Rosa, the Ukrainian one, was like 26-ish, $27 at the time I got it. Um, I have a feeling there might be difficult to find due to everything going on right now between Russia and uh, the Ukraine. Um, but I just thought it would be interesting to, you know, kind of see the differences. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch in here. I just have random swatches of my paints in here. Let's do it in here. And what we're going to do... is we're gonna kind of compare. We're gonna go palette to palette. I'll make four columns and match them up the best that we can. I got some water here. I do like the metal tin better than the plastic tin. I'm just gonna say that. I've got an old Arteza aqua brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit of water on these to activate them. Okay. 
One thing that's kind of nice about having a aqua brush, you can just, did I get those? Yeah. Dab a little water. And let's start with the Ukrainian color. This is what I was doing with the yellow ochre. I was doing a toned painting. And um, I was working on this. Now this I did with another, the Owen watercolors. So, so pretty, so pretty. This has been my, those were the Owen, and this is Moon Glow, the purple. Yeah, so I've been having fun this long holiday weekend. Okay. So this is the Cadmium Lemon. Do, 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 do. Cat hair. That is the cadmium lemon from the Rosa. Now this is just regular lemon from the St. Petersburg. I've always thought the lemons from St. Petersburg were a little on the greener side, but that, see this has cadmium. This doesn't, it's just lemon. Okay, got my water. Now the next color we have here is uh, Cadmium Yellow Light. Look how pretty that is. Also notice the texture. The Russian paints are kind of So they really need to be watered down. And that one is called cadmium yellow medium. So a light and a medium. The next color we have is cadmium orange. And then we'll over we'll bypass the yellow ochre. So here's the let me dab some off because I feel like I've got way too much. And this is orange, just regular orange. Now there we go. Next color we have is bright red. There isn't really a um, bright red in this St. Petersburg set. The next one is Matter Red. See how pretty that is? It looks very much like a, a rose <laughs> petal. Now there is a Matter Lake Red. And that's this one here. See how they're similar? This is a little bit brighter because it's a, a um, matter red, and this is a matter red light, which is interesting because it's darker. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So this one's six. Oops, I dipped in the yellow. Now this color. 
is Matter Rose, which is another towards the very bottom. I have some salt here, <laughs> just in case I wanted to do some plain, but we don't need to do that. There we go. Now, we don't have a match for that. One, two, three, four, five, six. The seventh color we have is Opera Rose. This is a gorgeous color. It's a very vibrant pink. And very pretty. Now, the next color we have down here is the um, Quinequinone something. Oh no, they call this magenta rose. Let me just kind of, I got a little bit much on the brush just to kind of show you how it looks like a pretty flower petal. Now we do have a color that kind of matches that over here and it's called quinaquinone rose, and that's this one right here. Let me dab on a little bit more. So it's, it's kind of a mix between these two, and it's a beautiful color. Okay, now the next color in here is this one. And you'll see it is a pretty dark color. But it is a violet. I'll try to pick up a little bit of it and smear it around a little bit. There we go. So that is a violet. Now this one has a quinacquinone violet, which is this right here, which is a slightly different color. It would be, if you were taking these two colors and mixing them together, you would get that. It's very, very interesting that they chose that color. Okay, the next color we have here is green. It's a very pretty sap, sort of a green. Let me just kind of smear that around. And here's the green right here. See? Very, very similar. Now we have cobalt blue. Cobalt blue. It's very pretty blue. For a cobalt blue, this is a beautiful blue. Cobalts are really, really, really difficult. Um, they're just really difficult to get them where they don't have a very just pale sort of a feel to them. There is no cobalt blue over here. The next color here you'll see is the ultramarine. It's not a French ultramarine, it's just an ultramarine. Now there is an ultramarine over here. And that's this one right here. And see, it's a little bit deeper. There we go. All right. 
water is getting quite dark. Um, the next one we have is a bright blue. It's a really pretty color. And then there is a Russian one that is very similar to that right here. Bright blue, but their bright blue is brighter blue. More like a Turkish blue, I guess you could say. A little bit different. Then the last color over here is their um, yellow ochre. And then here is the yellow ochre for the the yellow ochre in the St. Petersburg is kind of I've always I have a lot of them you have to really water 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 I think it has something to do with the um whatever binding element they use in the St. Petersburg. I like the this one much better. Well, this isn't a yellow ochre, it's called ochre light. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there's two colors over here that we don't have. One of them is the geranium, which is this one right here which I guess is somewhere over here. I guess you could call it a um, dupe for this red here, but this is much redder. This is much more orange. Um, which other one didn't we? Oh, the sepia, that's right. They have a sepia, and it, it, I understand having a sepia because, um, here it is. You know, if you're doing botanicals, you know, you have bark and branches and trees and maybe a woodland critter. So that, I think, is everything. Got 14 colors here in the, the rosa and 12 in the St. Petersburg. Now they're both, as you can see, incredibly wonderfully pigmented colors. Um, and, you know, they're both very, you know, high quality. Um, from my understanding is the Rosa watercolors were um, created by people, uh, Ukrainians, that used to work for uh, St. Petersburg or Nevskaya Pelitra. Where's the English? Here's the English for you guys. Um, and it's a limited edition. And you'll see that there's similar tones. And like some of these tones, you know, you can actually mix them. Like say you wanted to have like this quinacquinone rose, you could take a little bit of this violet. I'm just gonna pick it up with my brush. Take a little bit of that. Take a little bit of this. And look, you've got a color very similar to this quinacquinone violet. Um, so you wanted to have a sepia, you could mix a little bit of your green. Let me just take some of the green. Take a little bit of the yellow ochre. Take just a little bit of, oh, that's the wrong red. Take a little bit of red. a little bit of the blue. 
And now we've got something sort of like it. It's, you know, as, as best as I can do with. Probably needs a little bit more green. That's why I've got the. So you can, you can mix with these 14 colors, like the three extra colors that you get in the St. Petersburg set. So I just wanted to share a, um, a different, you know, watercolor company. Like, see, look, you can create that color with all of those. And then because you have these extra reds and oranges that you don't have in the St. Petersburg, you can create even more variety of of colors. So I just wanted to share a, I have a feeling this is not a quick little video anymore, of the Rosa watercolors as uh, everything with what's going on in, in Russia right now and the Ukraine. I thought it was, I, I wanted to try a new watercolor um, and just kind of see, see what they're like. Um, and, you know, I still like my St. Petersburg and I've had them purchased, you know, before all this stuff went down. So I'm going to still hold on to them and use them. I'm just going to explore these right now because they're, they're really, really fun. And these here. I did buy a tin. And what I was thinking of doing was putting magnets on the bottom of the Rosa watercolors and all of the ones that are not duplicates, putting them in here and having a little portable tin of just the watercolors from the Rosa. So there we are. Um, I have a mess on my table now and I'm going to have some fun waiting for these to dry and playing with some things. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I will link my Amazon store uh, where I have links to these and I'll even link the um, St. Petersburg if you can still get it. I know that for a while on Amazon, things from Russia weren't available anymore, um, but I'll, I'll try to get those linked. Um, and I'll also get the um, watercolors linked. I'll link my favorite brushes. Um, and I'll even link this uh, Canson water paper that I've been using. I've been enjoying it lately. If there's anything that you want to see, um, you know, leave a comment down below and um, I'll see what I can do. I have a little bit more time this summer. So hope you're enjoying your long holiday weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye.